Hello, everyone, and welcome. This presentation is entitled The Active Control of 3D Printed Pillbug Inspired Adaptive Origami. My name is Anne Siknesh, and I'm presenting on behalf of my student, Mr. Ang Shimon Barua, and we're from the University of Illinois Urbana Champaign. So, first of all, this is dealing with origami, which is the ancient art of paper folding. And in the domain of structural engineering, it's a very powerful tool that we can then utilize. As seen here, uh, you can have an origami inspired uh, solar panel used for outer space applications. In our case, we're gonna be looking at on earth, um, but we're also looking at a uh, behavior that we see in pill bugs. As you can see here, the rolling of a pill bug, the conglobation is going from a flattened state to a rolled state based on stimulus. So this whole process is uh, called biomimetics. So it's the imitation of uh, engineering in what we see in nature. So here we're modeling that origami pill bug. And as you can see on the right-hand side is kind of a five module articulated structure that to model what a pill bug looks like. Uh, we have several different types of folds. As you can see here, a one module on the left-hand side is uh, shown um, in terms of different folds. And you have the side folds, whether it's a mountain or a valley fold. And then you also have your diagonals in the center. And that's kind of the, the main uh, centerpiece there, the ridge. And so this is a model that's approximately uh, 23, 25 centimeters in its mostly unrolled state and about 15 centimeters uh, in its width. So we're using uh, as a base, the bar and hinge model, uh, which has been used for origami in the past. And it's uh, implemented using uh, dynamic relaxation so that we have, um, uh, we can calculate the deformations in this structure quite, quite quickly. As for the properties of these bars, uh, we are looking to actually, we will show an experimental uh, setup later, uh, but we'll actually have thickness and properties based on um, a thin 3D printed plastic. And so uh, as you see here, the thickness of the module, um, the Young's modulus, the density, the Poisson ratio, and then the fold and bending stiffness is calculated using a proportional method uh, relative to the bar and hinge model previously developed by Filipov et al. So going into more detail, we uh, developed previously already a module on how to handle origami in dynamic relaxation. So calculating that fold and bending stiffness, incorporating that into the iterative process. Uh, but this is then extending it to a new geometry and so we have the initial more unrolled configuration in the blue dotted line in that graph on the right, and then the roll configuration in the solid black line. So for uh, the instruction to dynamic relaxation, it is a vector-based pseudo-dynamic analysis, so it does yield a static solution. So uh, actuation is done in steps and is not time-based, so we're assuming no inertial responses at this time. Um, and so this is quite suitable for form finding of uh, highly deformable structures. And so we'll go to the next part and we'll show, because it's a static solution, if we want to know some of the dynamics, we use the same configuration of bars, but in this case, we put it into a program called Sophistic and anal analyzing the uh, modal content in these structures. And uh, as you can see here, going from the unrolled state to the rolled state, we have a drop in the first natural frequency, as you can see on the right-hand side. And uh, so this is actually quite promising based on the intent for this structure to control the stiffness throughout the process of folding and unfolding is actually something on a larger scale that we'll be interested uh, in the future. So our experimental setup, as you can see here, is a 3D printed uh, starting flat where the yellow is a hard plastic using the Stratasys uh, Object 300 printer. Uh, this is the Vero Yellow Vivid with a 65 MPA and the folds are using an Agilis, so kind of like a rubber material, all printed at, uh, in one shot. And uh, this is about 2.5 MPA, so much softer. Uh, cables were hooked up at the bottom of the pa side panels 
and subjected to pseudostatic loading with the load suspended off the pulleys on the left-hand side. And uh, they were then loaded in the steps of the 50 grams and then uh, to a final weight of 350. On top of that, not just load base, but wanted to uh, capture the progression of the uh, deformation. So this is a camera view from above. And this is uh, using the uh, image tracking uh, program on developed in MATLAB and showing the unrolled to the rolled state, the rolled in the blue, and then the unrolled in the red. So to compare the simulation with the um, experimental values, we have um, a difference of about um, 1.2 to just less than one centimeter difference. So uh, this percent changes uh, between experimental and analytical is quite solid. Uh, we're quite pleased with it. And we can see the difference between the initial rolled and unrolled length, as you can see here, about 50% uh, change. So this is an initial on just the origami shell of the pill bug from the outside. And so this is using the N5B8 bar hinge model. It's quite promising results for the future. And the comparison uh, is now allowing us to continue in some of this work and make this with uh, motion control and robotics in the future. Thanks.